My name's Jane Diblin, and this is an interview with James Berry to introduce a selection of his poems from a collection entitled Windrush Songs. Born in 1924, James Berry came to Britain on the next boat of migrants to leave Jamaica after the first famous arrival of the Empire Windrush. As a poet, performer and educator, he has made a significant contribution to the cultural life of both countries, publishing numerous books of poetry and choosing to write in Caribbean dialect as well as in standard English. I liked the idea of writing poems when I was in school. I wanted to get further education and my parents were not going to be able to afford it. And I decided, well, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to do it myself. So from quite early, I became very interested in the written word and reading aloud and also reading to my family and so on, because my mother was very interested and very encouraging. <laughs> and, but also I'm fascinated by the music of poetry in my early days at school, I realised that um, teachers liked the way I had taken on what she was trying to teach and say, James Berry, read it to them, let them have it. <laughs> but you, you referred just then to liking the music in poetry, so can you tell me a bit more about that? Oh, yes. Well, because I had one or two friends who were doing poems, but also I had a couple of friends who were singers. This was in my village. I followed what they were doing and talked a lot with them. But, I mean, I, I can't see how you can do good poems without having an ear for the spoken word, you know? Because, for me, it's part of the whole joy of it. <laughs> the music of the spoken word, and how is it expressed. You mentioned musicality in poetry and things, so is there a particular musical form that you are particularly fond of that you feel influences your poetry? Is it jazz or blues or something completely different? Jazz and blues would always have a place in it because I do like the music, and, um, and I've heard it enough. But it was never totally satisfying because I like language, the English language anyway, in its sober expressiveness. But you also changed poetry, didn't you? You didn't just work with what was the inherited form. You also decided to change the form. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Because a lot of people only use standard English, didn't they, for poetry, whereas you decided, no, 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 I'm going to give... Caribbean dialect, oh, the yes. same weight and the same, and treat it with the same seriousness. The the culture I was born in and brought up in in Jamaica, Jamaican village, my Jamaican village. Yeah. My mother was on the church choir, and we were church going children ourselves, and um, and I love the choir, and because from early I was very interested in language use, and. Um, so it was fascinating to me. James also spent a lot of time as a visiting poet in schools in London. In the school, what would you do? Would you read a poem and then try and get them to write poetry, or what would you do? Oh, yes, you know, I would read to them, or I would get a book uh, where everybody can have the poem in their hand as I read it, and so they see and get a feel of the shape of the poem and the, the, the words... And then I talk to them about it and get them to say something about it. And most of the time, they absolutely amaze me of what they understood. And it's just so amazing. <laughs> Once you stir them and they realise that it is important, and their participation is very important. Oh, yes, I also try to use, use some of the Caribbean language pieces, and most of the kids love it. Because it's just different from standard English, you know. And, and it's challenging in a way. <laughs> I do some of it for them, you know. Um, but now I go to bed too late, you know, man. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. And, um, and they love it. <laughs> well, kids love playing around with language, really, don't they? Because they're always oh, inventing yes. their own new slang. Yes, yes, that's right. And um, what I try to do is to get them interested in formal language statements and getting the best out of language that they know 
in making a statement in different ways. But I also like to work with them to, to, to make fun, to, to find the fun aspects, you know. Sometimes even telling somebody off. <laughs> you see, but I enjoy writing poetry because it challenges your thinking and it helps you really to find so much new and different ways of seeing. So, and I, I think I'm that sort of person. I am so happy with my fellow humans. <laughs> I like to explore possibilities through and from them. <laughs> the Open University. For more information, go to www.open.edu forward slash iTunes U.